Yeah, yeah, we back, y'all. Yep, that energy just don't want us to be great. It don't want us to be great. I don't know why, but it don't. Coming out again. Oh. Mm -mm. Fixing it. I'm switching cameras. Hopefully this one. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, everybody. Again, it's your boy, the real beat up. Yep. And yep. Next to me is the Woo, Woo Star. Yes, sir. I do we had podcast. We had most worshipful King Cyrus Grand Lodge and Shira Grand Chapters, one fourteen hundred South Ed Brook Avenue yeah. in Chicago, Illinois, six oh six. One of them, six oh six. Yeah. So with that being said, um, thank yeah. y'all for joining us. We really we was talking about birthdays. <laughs> birthdays and talk about our grandmaster, yeah, for uh, who had a wonderful birthday band, Shades of Purple. Yep, Shades of Purple, mm -hmm. him and Sister Tangela. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shouts out to both of them. Birthday, birthday, oh, yeah, birthday, 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 birthday. yes, sir. So, again, shout out to my man Hickey Doo, his birthday, Hickey Doo, birthday, mm -hmm. birthday, birthday, name. birthday, shout out to my niece. Shantiara Jackson. Birthday, birthday, birthday. You know what I'm saying? It's actually her birthday also. Yeah. So, you know, we give everybody their flowers that we can remember and that, you know, we know we try not to uh, leave anybody out. But, you know. That's right. Happen. Yep. So, uh, if we missed you, we're sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, but I'd like to... Uh, Give a special a special uh shout out and congratulations to my cousin Lakeisha Gray Sewell yes, from yes. the Girls Like Me Project. Yes. Uh man, she she completed her master's program this uh and graduated with a master's in uh, social work. Yeah. Congratulations, cuz. <laughs> yep, I love you. That is what's up. That's what's up. Yep, but me and the Moose were sitting here chilling, man, and uh, we were discussing some things. We was talking about uh, mental health. Yeah. This is mental health. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. Yes, it is. You know, and uh, so we'll be talking about mental health all this. All this uh week. Yeah. Mental health. Yep. So I just I just you know dabbled it a little bit and to find out some stuff about mental health here in Chicago. And uh here in Chicago we have something that's called NAMI. Mm. And uh Seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top using the streets. <laughs> you do not own the rights to that. <laughs> but yeah, we're talking about mental health this month. It's very important. And like, you know, we always drop jewels about mental health. And some of the reasons why we have mental health is it's just not a, a disability. Right. It's also something that's learned you know because people give out wrong information or raise a child up uh mentally fucked up you know what i'm saying just being <laughs> real. yeah raise a child mentally fucked up so this child thinking that this is one way and then the real reality hits them in the face and then they like what the like right. give a prime example i work with a student i'm not going to give a name but this student never was in class with any students. Mm. So, you know, he had to come and adapt with other students. And yeah, his and social skills exactly. was, was non-existent. was fight, fight, fight. Everything, 
like me, like me, nobody like him, he's ready to fight. So with that being said, if you raised or being brought up a certain way and being uh, brought around other uh, children, you never been around any, you know, that reaction or what, what can happen can be very uh, detrimental. De- yes, it can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yep. And uh, <laughs> Nami is is the uh, what does it stand for again? <laughs> <laughs> National Alliance for uh, National Alliance for Mental Illness. Illness. Yeah. Nami. And and they they're right here in Chicago. Yeah. So that's exactly what me and the Wu start. That's what we do, we work with uh, Minta, who works with uh, special educational mm-hmm. children. Uh, and like I said, some of them uh, just need a good ad. Some of them, yeah, some of them, some of them just they they, just they do need a uh, some some good old fashioned discipline. But uh, I don't know. I think the the, the main majority of them are. They're all neglected in some uh, kind of yep. way. Neglected. You know, yep. it's it's whether the neglect is uh physical, physical love, you know, uh whether it's it's uh the, the presence of a of a uh a parental figure or or a role model or or whatever the case may be. Uh <laughs> you know, most most of most most of them just want to be loved, you know, and, and it just won't Want somebody to show that they care. This is cute. Oh, yeah. That's what we were just talking about. The ones with love, right? Those are the ones that have. The, the 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 mental disability and a lot of people think that they are not smart but those be the ones that's actually the smartest mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying because they have that love they just have that disability that they haven't been able to figure out yet how to work with it and once they begin to work with it trust me it changes you know what i'm saying i've seen it um First hand, so yeah, love definitely. And if they keep being loved, man, it'll really, really uh, help them. A lot of times, when um, when when you have a, a child that's that's loved and they have a, a brother will a disability, you know, like like a uh, talk about mental age. Come on, come bro. About mental, mental health, mental, mental, health, health, mental health awareness month. So, yeah. what's up, brother? How you feeling, brother? Yeah, that's yeah. our brother. We're talking about mental health. You know, this mental health month. So. Okay. Yeah. So when when you have uh when you have children who who have this mental disabilities, you know, uh, but they have love, you know, or even physical, right? The 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 things that that uh. They could display or be lashing out is because they a person might love them, but they might might not necessarily know how to deal with them or handle them or or give them the the proper information or mm-hmm. instructions. You know what I'm saying to make it through life. Right. That that's one of the main reasons why they call our our particular portion of the learning process. At our school, they call it life skills. Yeah. Some of them don't know how to brush their teeth or hang up, simply hang their coat up because they haven't been taught that. You know, they can have all the love in the world. And it's just like even those that don't have a disability, a parent can love a child so much to the point that they love them where they don't realize that they do things that they shouldn't be doing because they think that they always are right. Your child is right. Your child is right. No, your child is not right all. Your child does a lot of things. Today. Your child is a child. Exactly. <laughs> so everything, everything with a child is trial and error. Yes. You know, growing up, 
shoot, when I was younger, growing up, mm-hmm. I went and I stuck my hand on the, on the oven. You know, mm-hmm. I ain't know it was hot. Mm-hmm. Trial and error. Yeah. But somebody needs to kill they need somebody. They they need somebody to guide them through that. Kim, if you're trying to come on, you got to connect your device, and we can definitely have you come in. Um, if you can connect uh, your device, it says your device is not connected, so meaning that you don't have a, a camera connected. If you had a camera connected, we could definitely have you come on with us. Mm-hmm. We would love that. But yeah, yeah. Uh, back to like what Wu was saying. Okay. Okay. Texting is great too. Yep. Texting <laughs> is definitely we're getting you on the text, so that that definitely works. We text savvy also. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so again, this is the type of work that we deal with every day. You know, some of them uh is in homes, group mm-hmm. homes, and being in a group home, uh taking away from their family, you know, they'll act out to that way. You know what I'm saying? So, That's right. If they uh, had siblings and they were together and then they separated, sometimes the older sibling acts out more than the younger sibling does because the younger sibling doesn't get what's happening, but the older sibling does and they acts out because they've been separated. And, mm-hmm. you know, I'm telling you, I see it today, right now. So it's definitely real. And um, we got to address it because some people don't even pay attention. Somebody can tell you that they uh talking about killing themselves. You have to pay attention to that. They tell you that just because you may think they plan or no, you definitely have to be aware of that. You know, you have to be aware of what someone says that you have to act upon that. You know, like in my line of work, uh law enforcement security, someone said they're gonna commit suicide. We just can't say, okay, no, we have to act on it. I'm sure. My brother in here, he can contest to that being in the military and everything. You have to adhere to when a person says that. No matter how how you may think that, it doesn't mean nothing. Tell them, I've seen it again, where people say that, and then next thing you know, life is gone. They mm-hmm. took a bunch of pills or slip their wrist. It's definitely real. And to walk in on that, that's not something you want to walk in on. You know what I'm saying? So, Excuse me. It's real. If they say it's real in the field. It's real in the field. <laughs> it's definitely real in the field. Right. We got something else for us. Hit this. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Hey, Kim, um, thank you for uh, joining us, too. If you got any uh, questions or just want to uh, comment on something, definitely feel free to text me. And, uh, we'll definitely put it up there. Uh, it could definitely be up there. Yep. Uh, NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. It is the largest grassroots mental health organization in the United States. NAMI Chicago is one, is one of the largest and most active NAMI affiliates in the country with full-time and part-time staff, graduate level interns, and weekly volunteers. Did you hear that they are the nation's largest grassroots mental health organization? And you don't even hear about it. That's crazy. You know what I mean? On that, on that, on that level and expecting to say they're the largest in the world, and you don't hear about them like that? Man. That just let you know somebody is playing a game. And of course, it's always about what? The chatter. That's right. Nobody does it better with <laughs> the chatter. Yeah. Okay. It says, uh, once again, I'm reiterate that it is the largest grassroots mental health organization in the United States with over 700 state organizations and affiliates that work to educate, support, and raise awareness for people affected by mental illness. NAMI is a nonprofit organization founded by family members of people with mental illness. This, their mission 
is to provide support, education, advocacy, and public awareness so that people affected by mental illness can build better lives. Remember that? Remember what I earlier what I was talking about, life skills and stuff mm -hmm. like that? Yep. Man, that, that that's 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 definitely what they're talking about, you know, uh making the way for uh, a mentally challenged person to live say say live on their own mm -hmm. be functional right. have their own apartment right. have their own bank account you know what i'm saying uh fix their own meals and so on and so on uh or simple speech yeah learning how to talk <laughs> or, or simply learning how to talk better yep learning how to talk better nami's vision is a word a world where people with mental illness lives healthy fulfilling lives supported by a caring community a caring community mm -hmm. and that's that word care again and that and that's what i said everybody needs care you need to learn to care you know so you definitely have to learn to care right we don't know what care is mm -hmm. it, it, we, we think just uh i'm gonna I'm go i'm gonna go to work i'm gonna make this money you know, and then I'm gonna buy them all this stuff that they need. <laughs> That's not care at all. No, it's not. That's providing. <coughs> Ooh, geez, me. Yeah. Caring for someone is 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 more uh it's more emotional driven. Yes, how can we teach people to care? Well, it starts with self. You have to lead by example. You have to be the example. If they see and you care, then they'll start to learn to care. They'll want to be around you. And if they don't, then that means they just don't care. That's how you learn. That's how you teach people to care. You have to lead by example. If they see and you care, they see and you help them someone across the street or holding simply holding the door or just doing the simplest things you know people who uh are hungry and you just helping them get something to eat that's learning to care you know what i'm saying so that, that's how you teach you lead by example you show it experience is your best teacher and if you're not experiencing it and showing then you're not learning that's just the fact you're definitely not learning just facts. You could talk about it all day long. We could sit, talk, yell, look it all up. But if you ain't uh, applying it, yeah, it's the practicality of it all. Nothing. So to answer your question, that's the answer. Thank you for asking that too. We need stuff like this because see, me, and, me and the Wooster is like we like we. we we are a computer, so we need <laughs> random access to information, Man. stuff to for us to go. Oh, okay, let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Talk about it. Let's talk about it. And that's what we need more of our people to do. We need to get more involved, to talk about things, and get involved. Not just you know, hey, get us to such and such, and you know, hand them a piece of paper or something. No, you got to get involved, hands on. We used to have a, a brother say, let's talk about it. Talk, talk about, about it. So let's talk about it. Be about it. Also, So application is everything. What do you think, Brother Wilkes? Well, you, 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 you touched on one thing about, you know, encouragement and setting positive uh, behavioral results right. in, in the household. You know, a, a lot of us, we get lost in the translation of what we think is caring mm -hmm. by continuously giving despite the behavioral disruption in the household. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of times, you know, we, we deal with entitlement mm -hmm. and we don't deal with positive correction. Yes, right. You know, because even in the midst of behavioral disruption, we still keep rewarding. You know, yes, I, without the positive yeah. correction. And that's true. You know, because because it starts in the home. Let's yes, be right. about it. Yes, right? Definitely start. Absolutely. So if, so, so if we get caught up in our own personal affairs and not 
acutely pay attention to what's going on in the home. You know, hey, a lot, a lot of these parents nowadays are young, mm. you know, they Ooh, still want to go outside and party. Mm, good point. But you do not tend to the field, mm. right? Because mm -hmm. children are like crops. Mm. If you do not tend to the field, <laughs> be mindful of the results that you're going to get from yeah. the produce. Right? Right. That's, true. That's right. Too easy, right? That's right. That's and, a, and a lot of times, you know, we have to deal with we one thing that we have not addressed is childhood trauma, mm. right? Mm. Because mm. a broken person cannot properly tend to a, a broken person. That's right. Because two broken <laughs> people, you get broken results, mm. right? right? And we have to learn to be able to deal with those things head on. Mm -hmm. Don't let pride get in the way. Yeah. Do not let the suppression of what you deal with get in the way because that can break you. You know, here today, gone tomorrow, right? That's right. You know, some of us, we have best best friends who we, we loved and lost, right? Mm -hmm. And we could have been sitting in front of them one day, and they get a phone call at 2 o'clock in the morning, they didn't kill themselves. Mm -hmm. right? yeah, true. We have to be mindful how we care, because it's not always about us. That's right. You know, It's about <laughs> that person, right? Because yeah. sometimes all a person really needs is how you doing. Mm -hmm. You know? Simple how you doing. She said absolutely. Yeah. I love you. Mm -hmm. You know, I care about you. Hey, what's going on, man? You good? You know? Hold that thought for one minute. I should be in that little podcast. I'm sitting here with my brother. Introduce yourself, my brother. I'm, I'm Pastor Master Wilkes. Yes, sir. That's yeah. right. From the greatest Grand Lodge in the world. Yes, sir. Most forceful King Cyrus Grand Lodge. So, Shira, Grand <laughs> Chapter. One of my focus of concentration is uh, Christian community services. Okay. You know, and, and, and a lot of times that, that, that is the baseline for help. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, it's not always about us. Hey, you know, brother the call. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know? He is my very best friend. I mean, he knows me inside and out. You know, he knows when I'm when I'm low. Right. He knows when I'm high. Right. And he also knows when I'm in the in between. And that's because you know the relationship that we develop mm -hmm. with each other. Mm -hmm. And you know, kids, are, you don't make kids your friends, mm -hmm. but you know, in order to crack the surface of what's going on with them, you gotta kind of like, right. you know, get in there a little bit. Right. And right. Not, not to necessarily slave master or buggy whip or, or you know or anything like that or be a warden but we have to know what's going on back you know good or bad that's right you know? that's right that's and right. and if, if you can't be that network of resources hopefully you got an uncle mm -hmm. an auntie right so you know some someone uh, who, who's a mentor and of great wisdom because that's some of the things that we're missing out here. That's right. Like you, you know, said, like you said, it takes a village. You can say big time the mentor. We definitely miss I when I was coming up, I literally had somebody show me how to hold the strings of a football mm -hmm. and throw it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or take the basketball and the groove and show me how to actually shoot the we don't have it. Absolutely. We don't have it. We don't have enough fathers. We don't have enough fathers. We don't have enough places to go. Right. Yeah, I remember right near Roseland. You know, we had the Roseland Community yeah. Center yeah. right off the cottage yeah. road, right yeah. near yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's actually what's impacting these communities right now is subsidies. Mm -hmm. You know, they are taking the subsidies and they move them out of impoverished communities and they send them elsewhere. You know, it's like what they call budget cuts. That's right. <laughs> they That's need right. them here. You right. know, and in order for you to get those subsidies. You got to go way across town, mm -hmm. you know, where the subsidies now are shrinking mm -hmm. and they become little to, to non existent. Kim said, uh, I'm going to tell you what Kim said real quick. She said, it's hard to get younger people to listen these days, which is it's very true. It is. Well, the reason why it's hard for them to listen is because of the examples that we set. The, the topic, sis, is mental. Health. Yeah, this is mental, uh, mental, uh, mental health awareness month. So we're talking about mental health. Exactly. Well, sisters, I have to close the topic. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's 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 the facts. That's the yeah, there, there's not enough accountability. No, you know. So so again, you know, you got mothers, you know, out here. You got dads out here that practically half the age of the children. Mm -hmm. You know, because. You know, mm. we're still living in that mindset of 
uh, being a juvenile. Right. You know, you're absolutely right. So, so the, the question is, when do we, we get out of that mindset of one's own individualism and understanding that you have a family? Mm. You know, you have individuals that are counting on you. You know, a lot of times our children get lost out here, feeling alone because in their very own home, they don't have anyone to reach out to. Mm-hmm. Because mommy or daddy is always in the streets, mm-hmm. you know, and they're left alone to fend for themselves. You know, right. I remember growing up, hey, I was always in my grandma's. Oh, uh, yeah. you know, you my, great, my, my, yeah. my grandpa raised me. Yeah, my, my grandfather OB raised me, uh-huh. you know, and, and, mm-hmm. and not, not, not to say my mother was out there doing anything bad, but you know, she was trying to raise three kids right. all by herself. Right. He tripped out my grandfather. Name was OB as well. <laughs> so, you know, when you understand the struggle, you become like that uh, subject matter expert. So, a lot of things don't surprise you as much. Mm-hmm. So, you know how to cultivate, mm-hmm. you know how to get in there and really put in the work to, to be able to save, save your children. You know, um, my kids, I teach them how to be productive citizens, but understand something. If you mess up, I'm here. Right. Because I can teach you how to do the wrong thing right now, you know, but you have to trust me, you know. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, you know, uh, where trust is applied with some of our youth, it's not applied in the home. It's 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 some 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 frame mm-hmm. out there, you know, where they're trying to emulate someone, mm-hmm. you know, instead of us as parents, you know, being the being the role model or the subject matter expert. Yeah, that's you know, exactly. but let's understand something. Just because you birth something doesn't mean that you have tear for it. And that's some of their their idea, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and like I always say, you know, it, it if you if you have a child, you have to be responsible, you have to be accountable. Mm-hmm. You know, it, 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 sometimes in life. You you you're uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, that's just the nature of the beast. Yeah, you can be uncomfortable. Oh, you, oh, but, but that that's supposed to make you better. Yeah. You know, when you can navigate and to be successful in those uncomfortable circumstances. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that's what makes us better. That's what creates resilience. Yes. You know, that's what actually gives you the foresight of spiritual uplift, and when you can. You know, get get past that or get through it under those you know uncomfortable circumstances, and that's what makes good mentors and good friends. You know, to help encourage you. You know, through the good and the bad, mm-hmm. and that's what we're missing in the you know as a part of this generation. You know, uh, we don't have great support systems. You know, because you know the way this world has you know uh, evolved, <laughs> it's like. Everybody's fending for themselves, mm. you know. Mm. That very it's far true. between, you know. Do we have those 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 families that are together? You know, you see it nowadays. You know, you see families falling apart over yeah. this, Great you time. know, frivolous stuff. Frivolous. You know, stuff that really doesn't mean anything. Mm-hmm. You know, if we got a fallout over just a misunderstanding of words, I mean, were we really family? Mm. You know. Back in the day, hey, if we argued about something, hey, five minutes later, we sit down and barbecue together. Yeah. You know? Man, basketball. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so, so we, That's have, real. We, we have to, you know, when I was growing up, you know, church was the thing. Yeah. You know? That's true. That, yeah. that, that was the community build, the church. You know, and in society today, you know, what is church to some people? It ain't but the show, uh, you know, yeah. lights and they trying to try and uh, build more. Stadium. Not to knock any of the past. Not not, that it's really right. Word. Right. right. But, but um, you know, uh, we need to see more, you know, community development, mm-hmm. you know, going on. You know, we need to, I mean, because even, even in this, this, this neighborhood, Roseland, Mm. You know, it's it's fallen by the wayside. Was one of, once was one of the most beautiful. Gate, gate class, oh. the full area. Yeah. 
used to be off, off the chain. Booming. Yes. And, 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 and the subsidies are gone now, you know. And, um, you know, I don't want to call it misappropriating funds or anything like that. Right. You know? uh, but well, well, people got old and young people didn't know anything about business. Yeah, absolutely. That's what happened. Absolutely. That's the elders true. got old and made their transition. Yeah. So, and the younger people. Absolutely. So the question is, talk business. the question is, where are we investing? You know, where, where I mean, but you can even apply, you can even apply that to, you know, your own house. Yeah, you know, yes. that's true. are you investing? Well, that is true. You know, uh, that is true. you know, some people true. just just just, just let, live there. Yeah, just let their kids do right. Don't yeah. don't no, do no no. Uh, what's that? Gardening yeah. and all that. Well, hey, <laughs> let, look for real talk. Yeah. You know, hey, when I was 10, 12, 13 years old, I was in the yard with my aunties. Yep. You know, oh. pulling weeds, yep. cutting flowers, <laughs> cutting your grass. Shovel the snow, yep. you know. Um, That's right. But we 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 we've lost the idea of getting back to basics and allowing our youth to understand what it's like right. to really mm -hmm. be independent and to earn a dollar mm -hmm. instead of just feed feed. Say here, shut up. You know, mm -hmm. take this money. You know, if I buy the sneaks, you know, he won't be breathing down my neck about nothing. Right. So you know. But we have to be cognizant of the monsters that we create, mm. you know, because once once they spin out, you know, it's going to be hard to catch them, mm -hmm. you know, you know, it's not always about I am the parent, you know, but but how are you parenting, you know, um, understand that they are generational curses. It is. Let's, let's understand, <laughs> you know, when it, when it involves uh mental health yes mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so you know and then we have to understand you know we have to properly identify you know the cause of the mental health mm -hmm. you know even as us as adults you know we still we, we suffer from some 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 deep-seated trauma that we have not really addressed nope so and then sometimes mental health can be like a visual thing oh i think i'm crazy Right. You know, so therefore you act crazy. Right. But you're really not crazy. Right. You well, know? Somebody didn't say it to the point that they think they crazy. You know, them or that. you cough and I cough. Right. So therefore so we're sick. We're both sick. Right. Yeah. But, 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 but not really. Right. It, it, it's just a, a switch or a shift that you need. Mm -hmm. The environment, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, and just like you brothers were saying, you know, you deal with a, a, a lot of mental health individuals in the, the, your, your work field yes. and, and, and as well do I and um, I hear them you know sometimes you know describing what they go through I'm like right a minute there's really nothing wrong with you right it's just a habitat yep you know yep. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. yeah you know like 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 common things we would hear when we're at odds with someone, you make me sick. Mm -hmm. You know, what does that really you mean, mean to right. you? Right. <laughs> you make a stomach turn. Right, right. Give me a you know, they, they, they <laughs> Think weird thoughts. Right. I mean, what is it real? Right. You know. No, that's, that's a good one. You said that too. So, so a lot of times we, you know, we we deal with codependency. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, Oh yeah, definitely. You know, that codependency. Yeah, yeah, codependency. You know, having to fix yeah. others, and, mm -hmm. and you, you do it so much to the point where you 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 exhaust yourself to the point where you get sick, and not just physically, mentally, mentally. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. stress. Because two two things you can ask yourself: Am I useful? Or am I helpful? Mm -hmm. You know, because you know a lot of us, you know, are out here we're like bruised peaches. You know. <laughs> <laughs> once, once they done with you, right. mm -hmm. you know, then it's on to the next island, right? You know, so you know, it's a whole uh, biblical fable, a uh, parable that we that, that I that I like to mm -hmm. tell people: you don't give what's sacred to the dogs, and you don't give your pearls to swine. Oh yes, sir. so so <laughs> so Lord. understanding self worth, mm -hmm. you know, is is a a, a great asset to. Preserving your mental health mm. because if you don't understand how valuable you are, mm. you will surely yeah. lose your marbles. Yes, yes. You know, not giving people the power over your 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 mind. Right. You know, 
when you come when you come to your senses, <laughs> you know, hey, it, it's, it's real in the field. It is, you know. So you know, but us as brothers, we have to care for for one another more. Even the, these young men growing up, as you, go, you know. Oh. Hey, sis. How you doing? Hey, y'all. <laughs> all right, all right. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so um, definitely if you want to chime in or say anything or talk about what we've been talking about, you're more than welcome. Thank you. I'm listening. I'm enjoying the conversation. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Good to have you on with us, too. Thanks. You. With Brother Wilkes, and he was just, uh, yeah, you definitely, definitely don't want you to, some good points, too. Definitely don't yeah. want to, uh, people living in your head. Oh, oh, oh of course not. Not, yeah. not Reverend. <laughs> and even if they pay it, you know, if, 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 if it does not provide spiritual foundation, right. you know, or physical foundation, then what are we, what are we, what are we connect? How, why are we connected? Mm. You know, uh, mm -hmm. So the, the, the black man is a dying breed. Yes. You know, and one thing I can definitely say is we don't help each other enough. Man. You know, well, that's, you know what? I mean, I'm not trying to cut you off, but that's so real. Well, a simple holding the door for, you know, a lot of the elders, when I hold the door, I'll be like, mm -hmm. you know, we, we prehistoric, some of, we're still around. We don't, oh, and that's the first thing they say. Well, I'm glad it's still some of y'all because it's not, it's not many. You know, because one thing you definitely have to keep in mind is the why or mm -hmm. what. Mm -hmm. what. Why are we in this state? Mm -hmm. Or what are we chasing? Mm -hmm. You know, because when, when we're on the chase, we don't realize what we're leaving behind. Behind us. You know, I don't want to leave my friends behind if I know that the success or the goal is right over here, mm -hmm. you know, because we all, in some realms, we have to be like-minded, mm -hmm. you know, because when you think of brotherhood, you don't think of brother, right? You think of brotherhood. So what's comprised comprised of brotherhood? Brother, we, brothers, brothers, right? That's right. You know, <laughs> and, right. And we're, we're all to be like-minded, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, it, we're, we're we're in a terrible state, right? You know, every time I turn on the news, it's always right. bad news. Bad news. You know, <laughs> that's why I don't even watch the news. Right. Yeah. But, you know, I watch. you can call it divine order, you know, or whatever. Uh, that's the way the world goes around. Um, but, but, but we definitely need to get back to praying mm -hmm. um, as brothers mm -hmm. and do more community work and get out here and see what's going on. Hey, I'm, I'm I'm looking at that that you know that widow on, on your hat, bro. <laughs> and you know what what that means to me is community building. Mm -hmm. You know, because we are architects, right? right. You know, right. we are. You know, right. and you know what God intended for us to do. You know, some of us are like part timers. Mm. I'm full time every day. You know, and what will make us better? If we had more individuals full time, be, full time, you know, <laughs> full time, you can't be in and out in this thing, especially when it comes to mental health. Right. You cannot punch the clock. Mm -hmm. You have to be in this thing twenty four seven. That's right. No, that's right. You know, it, it it's it's almost the equivalent of marriage vows. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I don't know what those are. We we'll do, well, you do but... well, let me well. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Better for worse, which is for sickness and health until death. Don't do right? far. No, no. I can tell you, <laughs> I, I can that. tell you down to the nickel how many people lie about that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's just like being a parent, a you know, a lot of you know, mm -hmm. in the cooler. And you, you can't lie about being a parent because you, you got kids, you're a parent, right? That's right. That's right. You know, if you got nieces and nephews, you're a parent on the real. How well are you parenting? Because mm -hmm. even when it comes to mental health, how well are you an asset in ensuring all the resource to making sure that your child is getting the, the resource or the help that one needs? Mm -hmm. Some of us, we, we are apprehensive about doing it because you know, we feel responsible. 
mm-hmm. you know, guilt or shame mm-hmm. or whatever. But oh, thank you. That, is, that is why the help is available for you. Mm-hmm. You know, um, even when it comes to the marital battles, bro. That's right. In sickness, mm-hmm. you know, how many times do we 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 go to we, we go to our wits end and we we want out hmm. because we don't have the discipline or the caringness to be able to stay in there when things get bad, right? Hold that thought. ITB Next Level Podcast. It's your boy, the real read up. Next yeah. to me is the whole oh, star. We sitting here with our brother Wilkes and our sister Kim. Anytime she wanna chime in, she's more than welcome. But uh <laughs> continue, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, you know, it's those hard things that we 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 lack the ability to face, right? But sometimes it's the, the you know people who 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 are in our company. Mm-hmm. Those are the people that that should be able to drive it out of you. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I wouldn't want want a friend of mine in my company. I know he's hurting. I don't know how to, to, to ask those questions. Right. You know, but like your training or your training or my training, I mean, sometimes it's the direct approach is what works. Hey, man, are you right. about killing yourself? Right. Right. You know, I need to know. Right. Right. Because no, that's how, weird. how are we <laughs> going to be able to help if we, we, we can't listen? I mean, hey, I have heard it all. You know, hey, I'm going to do this to myself. I'm going to do that to myself. Mm-hmm. I don't take anything like that as a joke. No, no you can't. If, if, you, if can. you seriously want to do this, then I am going to get you some help. Yep. If I got to go with you myself, if I got to stay here mm-hmm. and watch you, I'm going to get on the phone. I'm going to call some other brothers. Yep. And this is what we're going to do. do. Yeah. Oh, that's real. You know, that's so, real. you know, and, 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 and even if it's a cry, cry out for help, you know, we have to first, we have to diagnose, we have to get in there, we have to find out what is actually going on with my brother. You know, sometimes we are our own worst enemy. Mm-hmm. We are. Yeah. You know, and that job is crazy. Yeah. You know, but it's those habits, you know, being mm-hmm. habitual creatures. Mm-hmm. You know, call it what it is. Right. But you know, the switch or the shift mm-hmm. to take you out of this environment to move. Is what you need in order to be healthy mentally. Get away from those people that are driving you to this pit. Mm-hmm. Is what you have to do. Then you have to do it. That's just like marveling at some of your friends who move to a different state, and you call them and they're like, "Man, it's the best move I've ever made, man. You should try it." But you're dealing with those fears, mm-hmm. you know, or starting yep. over. Starting over. That's true. You know. That's true. Can't make it. I mean, right? That's just like going to Vegas and having mm-hmm. a ball, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Think about what you'd be doing if you moved it. Yeah. You know? That's real. You know? That's funny you said that too, Wilson. For a long time, when I was growing up, I never wanted to go to Vegas because I wasn't a guy. No, I was and then, you know, women, you know, you can get women anywhere. So I'm like, oh, what am I going to Vegas for? But mm-hmm. man, I, first time I went. <laughs> Hey man, they call me Mr. Vegas, man. <laughs> I'm back in Vegas on the regular, man. <laughs> he went to Vegas with he went to Vegas with us. Yeah. The next then week, next week <laughs> he came back to Vegas. Oh my god. With somebody else. And then a month later. And then a month later, I was came back to Vegas. Oh, <laughs> it's those insatiable, uh, dainty, delectable, delectable. I think it's money in. I like what they were doing. They get money in Vegas. Of course. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I like Vegas. Money. What'd you say, sir? That's what I that's why I like Vegas because it's so glamorous and it's money. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. They're about that place. Yeah, but anybody, any place can be Vegas if you just apply the right investments yeah. and have the right resources. It's just like Chicago now. They're bringing the casinos yeah. into the city after hundreds of thousands. Tens and twenties of years, right? You know, the one right there in home was it home of oh, 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 oh. Think about it. everybody's now getting to game like, okay, right now, doing what they were doing. Yep. You yep. know, yep. fighting the system of, of, of political yep. power and, and such. You yep. know, mm-hmm. but when it comes to the home, when it comes to 
to to to raising our children. It shouldn't be anything political. Mm -hmm. You know, there was there wasn't there wasn't no political beings in my mama's house. There weren't any political beings in my grandmama's house. It was just us, family. Yep, the you know? family thing, spending time. You know, and it and it's and it, it's it's social media. You know, people getting in your business, yep. trying to prevent you from how to raise. You know, children nowadays are growing up like lawyers. You can't do this to me. Right. I'll show you. Don't whoop that baby. Yeah. yeah. Burn the house down to the time. Don't put him in the court. You know, so so you know what <laughs> what you need to apply in most cases is trusting by the way of verification. Yeah. You know, and if you think there's a problem. Chances are there's a problem. There's a problem, and we and it and it has to be addressed. You cannot, you know, you cannot be afraid of what you find. Mm -mm. You have that's why we have resources out here. You find find trouble, let's take care of it. You know, and that's where the trust factor comes in. At. But you, you know, know two fear has been taught mm -hmm. at, a, at a remarkable rate. <laughs> where we fear things and. That's the thing right there that's part of mental health, too. Of course. Course. If you've been taught to fear something for so long, mm -hmm. you're going to be scared to ask. Mm -hmm. So fear is one of the biggest things that was taught. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. fear. You better not ask questions. But when you go to school, what's the first thing they tell you? Ask questions. Of course. But then if I, if I go to the church to ask the reverend a question, I can't ask the reverend in front of the current grade. I got to wait until you know, everybody goes. I think a lot of times we, we are more concerned about how we judge, mm -hmm. you know, versus, you know, actually seeking the help. Right. You know, right. And, and that's why it's important to, to understand who you bring, who you bring the help to, mm -hmm. you know, I need, I need help. So I'm going to come to you. You know why? Because I know you care about me, right. right. You know, and you care about me enough to really uh expose me to the real mm -hmm. right because mm -hmm. sometimes you know the thing that concerns us the most is the, the, the why what if it's me mm -hmm. you know what if i'm the problem we don't want to hear that right. right but if you're if the, if the goal is to get better you got to be open to that right you know if you're the one making the mistakes of how you're exposing yourself out here mm -hmm. you know um, you know, but 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 going back to the men mental health is you know uh, there's there's childhood trauma, you know there's social trauma, mm -hmm. you know um, you know and, and there's just things that we suppress so much, you know, um, you know ordeals in my family, you know I know my sister probably would kill me, but uh, she was almost fifty. And she was dealing with something that I had no idea, you know, she was dealing with. And it took a real sit down for her want, wanting to address it that I was just like mind blown. I'm like, okay, so that's why she's, she's this way. Right, right. That's why she's like this. Right, 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 right. right. Okay, so now she's talking about it. So now we got it out. Now we can deal with it. Because now we know what's going on. You know, and sometimes people just want to be heard. Yeah. They just want somebody to talk to you. That's true. You know, and, go a long way. and and we we have this thing, brothers, called the listening in, mm. right? Because mm. that's sometimes what people need the most. All the time. That, yeah, that, 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 so they, they, they need that. You know, so you know, people say, Oh, you don't have time for me. Why would you say that? I definitely can make time if you tell me why. Well, you right, time. right, right. You know? I don't want to waste my time. Closed mouth don't, don't get, get fed. fed. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's that's a part of the bridge build. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like if you sitting there holding your stomach, am I to assume that you're hungry? Right. You might be in pain because yeah. You got a knife wound. If you're crying, am I to assume that you have allergies? Right. Talk to me. Right. Tell, no, me, tell me what's wrong. 
And then, you know, sometimes we don't have patience. Yeah, I would just we don't, say, ooh, that's we don't, we don't, we don't want to, if you can't tell me right now, I'm done. Right. I, you know, I don't want to hear it. I want to hear it. You know, you know, uh, PTSD. Of course. It's, uh, it's in, in, in children, it's a real thing. It is a real thing. It's a real I thing. It, it is a real thing. You know, and but again, you know, you know um, most people think you, you, you just get PTSD <laughs> From uh, getting shot, being in, in the car, or, or something yeah, like that, yeah, you know. Yeah. But shoot, it, you get PTSD from something simple as losing a parent. Of course, you know. Yeah, I'm getting or, getting smacked. A sibling, or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> losing a sibling yeah. or anything. Absolutely, someone who's real close, or even you know, big, like you said, Big Mama raised dude. Once Big Mama gone, you like, who do I get? Uh, people be like that, yeah, you know, and, and, they, and they, they're they're lost, they're lost in the journey and the travel, trying to find someone that replicates that. Mm -hmm. When all you gotta do is just take the memories mm -hmm. and apply that to inner strength, and you can encourage yourself. You really can, you know. It, but it's a lot of things that, that's out here that is, that distracts us. You know, that's just like having someone in your company that don't want you to be great. That's yeah, right. That's real. You know, that's real. You got people like that. You know, if, if I if I say I walk on water, oh now I'm a candy swim. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. right. So so you know, you know, being responsible is a is very important when you are responsible for someone. And when it comes to mental health. I tell you, it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. it, is, it, is, it is nothing to, to take lightly. Oh, yeah. oh. And, but you have to have extreme patience mm -hmm. to be able to deal with those sort of things. And you can't let go. Mm -hmm. If you end, you have Man. to be all, all the way in. in. Yeah, you, you can't know. step a toe in that. Because <laughs> it's not like mm -hmm. you, know, you can just throw that person in the garbage. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and find someone else. No. You know, it, you have to care just like you care about yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like the love of Christ, you know, and so Christ loved the church, mm -hmm. you know, and and, 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 and the, the most important thing is forgiving yourself. You know, it's not your fault. Definitely. You know, you know? And, and so when, when help is needed, help, help will be given in need. And you just have to be positive. Stay positive. You know, about that thing. You know, I have, you know, a few friends that, you know, are dependent on medication mm -hmm. to, to stay stable, right? Right. Because I've seen them when they're not. Yeah. You know? they, but yeah. but as the friend, you 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 have to ask those those questions. Hey man, just take your medication. Yep, yeah, yeah. You got it. You, uh, you know, and then yeah. you can recognize when they don't. You know, hey man, what your pills at? You know. Yeah. Hey, take this. Drink, drink some water. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. that's why we're friends, right? That's why we're brothers, right? That's right. You know, and, I, and again, we don't do that enough. You know, check on uh, each other. We we don't. We you know pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. We don't. We don't have enough kumbaya where we sit down and we mm -hmm. talk and, and address issues. And you know, God, but but again, you know, people are private. You don't want you in business, but you're making a mess. Of right. what you dealing what with. Dealing with right. And when you got the help. Try to, try to deal with it by yourself. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, you, you can spread it out. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just open just open a little bit. The grain of a mustard seed. Yeah. If you just let me in just a little yeah, bit. Just a little bit. You know? And then and then once, once the trust becomes evident, then they start to open up. And then you can really see what's going on with, with our brothers out here and our sisters out here. You know, some of us are, you know, it, it might be uh, broken relationships, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but then sometimes that's our own fault because we don't, we, we're waiting for them to make the first move, right? right? But do they really have to make the first move? Maybe, no. they're, maybe they're in the pit of the things that they did to you. They might be waiting on you to make the first move. Absolutely. I mean, so don't get caught up in, in waiting on an apology, you know, because you 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 have to be kind, and you also have to be what forgiving, you know. Sometimes you have to learn to. Sometimes you have to learn 
to apologize for something you didn't do. Absolutely. Right. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't right. make you a fool though. Doesn't make you a fool. You know, it, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's just it's just agreeing with your adversaries. Right. You know, to uh, to agree to disagree. And although we don't agree, we still gonna be cool. Right, still in cohesion. Yeah, because it's stink, Miss Kim. I see you shaking that head over there. Good stuff. Stink? Good stuff. Good stuff. Because uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's three types out there. Right? Mm -hmm. You got confidants, constituents, and comrades. Mm -hmm. So if you if you identify with all, you know, a confidant all day is with you ride or die, right? Mm -hmm. A constituent, like, well, a no or a yes. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we're gonna go have a drink. And we're gonna go fight the next day. A comrade is whatever. Right. You know, you but at the end of this mission, you go your way and I'm gonna go my way. You know. But you you know, you have to actually ask yourself, where are you in that chain? Because I don't wanna be a constituent. I wanna be a confidant all the time. Even to some people I may not, I may feel indifferent about. Right. But if I saw them on the side of the road, I must help because OB made me make him a promise when I was in my early teens, right? And and he succumbed to cancer. Uh, he was my father, and I'll say that, right? My grandfather was my father, right? He said, "Make make me a promise," and I said, "Sir." He said, promise me something. I said, I promise. He said, whatever you do in life, always help people. Always. Mm -hmm. Always. You know, uh, a brother of ours, a uh, brother, brother Carl Clark, yeah. lost everything yeah, in the fight, yeah, house fight. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, he's been dealing with the pride thing because people are coming from all everywhere, right. you know, offering help, giving them right. beds, you know, right. giving them donations. And um, I spoke to him the other day and I said, hey man, we, you know, you cried out and God sent angels. You got to do that sometimes. That's right. You know, when you're in trouble. Because how, we, we're not mind readers. What, what, what are we here for? What are we doing this for? Yeah. If we can't help our brother. Yeah. Or sisters. Or sisters. You know, if you guys came to the, you know, uh, the, the, the event yesterday that we had for the sisters, I, I mean, uh, uh, and shouts out to, you know, Most Worshipful King Cyrus, the patrons, Brother Priest, you know, our, our, our grand worthy patron, mm -hmm. you know, phenomenal job, you know, with, you know. Uh, they definitely set out for the sisters. Yeah, showing, showing appreciation for the sisters. Mm -hmm. And and, and, and and that's another thing, you know, we 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 don't appreciate things enough. You I know, like our own lives. Mm -hmm. You don't appreciate that. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. a privilege. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know we don't have control over the dash. Yeah. You know, so it's like um, you know, hey, if you're driving a bucket, you know, make it the best bucket you ever drove. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that, hold that thought. I TV next level podcast. Next level podcast. It's your boy, the real beat up and the woo star. star. Yeah, with us, we chilling with our brother, our brother Alan in the building, the Alan Wilkes, and our sister <laughs> Kim. <laughs> yeah, chilling with us. You know, and, so, and uh, we love it. Yeah, we right here at most words with King Science Grand Lodge, and she was Grand Chapters. Yes, sir. 114th in Edinburgh. I'm a damn break. And we're going to have a quick break there. And this up, guy. We got to pick that up. Man. Man. Uh, but, yeah.
Because he's over here and he's cool. And we're back. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Yeah, just like that. So uh, we put up a couple of uh, flyers. Uh, Malachi three 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 will be having a. We having a rodeo, y'all. A rodeo. Yep. Cowboy moves and denims. Oh, August eighth. I mean June eighth. June eighth. With the mechanical bull, we gonna have a mechanical bull. I'm, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get us a, a 360 camera, yes, sir. all types of stuff. So you know everything, everything that you want at a rodeo, we're gonna try to have. We're gonna try that. So check us out, June eighth, for all you guys just watching, and you know want to come on down, have some fun. We are gonna have plenty of fun. Put your cowboy boots on. Yeah. Put your put your chaps on. Yep. <laughs> put your cowboy hat on. Man, my yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. It's gonna definitely be a beautiful thing. Be a beautiful thing. <laughs> yes, it is. And as always, we gotta give a shout out to our common uh our comedic village. Comedic village, yeah. Boy, uh Marlon Mitchell, uh at Club Lagoo every Thursday with our other brothers, Cole Walker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, we we'll be down there, and uh, we be doing our thing. Yeah, they be doing their thing so every we'll, Thursday. Every Thursday, Club Blue Club will be off the chain. So check it out. Did I have your? Do I got your mic muted? You do, Kim. That's you, you have it muted. I have it muted. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure I like, wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> I, I, appreci you. I appreciate the inspiration. I'm going to sign off now. Do you guys okay. normally go for an hour or how long? Yeah, we normally do an hour, but we got on a little late because we had a little difficult. So the cameras wasn't rolling, but we were still live. But, you know, mm -hmm. enough to, normally just an hour every uh, Monday at six. Okay. Well, I'll pop back on next Monday. We we'll definitely, definitely have to definitely have to appreciate you. Appreciate, appreciate you anytime. You're welcome. Thank you okay. so much. And the special guests. I appreciate right. everyone's input. Yep. Our well, special guests. Well, <laughs> yep. okay. Bye bye. All right. Talk to you later. Yeah. We 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 felt good vibes about this. So you know. Oh, yeah, it's definitely good vibes. This is what we do, man. And um, we be one more. Brothers and sisters, we tell them all the time, man, y'all more than welcome to come sit. And yeah, because, you know, and definitely we need some uh, decor. Oh, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, maybe some, put some flags up, you know, get, get make some, you know, put some personal touches. Another backdrop. Yeah, on. put some personal touches in here. You know, um, maybe better chairs. <laughs> but, um, you know. Yes, sir. And, we still, and, you know, this is, this is. We, we we uncut raw. Yeah. Raw will be yeah. into that fake, you know, like the reality TV stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe some kids libations in there. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We're looking for a promotion. Yeah. 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 Hopefully it's a promotion so we yeah. can promote, you know, whatever. So we can have some sponsors. Yeah. 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 Um, so definitely. ITB, next level. How, how many views did y'all have? You don't know. How many who? How many views did y'all have tonight? We, we ain't, we're not gonna know until so, yeah. after we get off. Get you know, off. Somebody actually. Let me see somebody in a private chat. Let me see. Oh, thanks for uh, it's, it's great, big brothers. I am signing off. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but uh, and then we got more cameras and more. Yeah, you know, some of the right. things that we talk about definitely it hit, it hits home for for people who are listening. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, sometimes it's just picking a lot. Right. It was a lot of people coming on. I can see different people yeah. coming on as yeah. we was talking. So that's that a good subject. Man. So, so yeah. So, so what, what will be the next topic next week? Well, next week, because we're still alive mm -hmm. <laughs> right now. Next week. Next week, we're going to still talk about mental health also yeah, because, because it's mental health month. Mental health awareness month. month. Okay. But our topic is facts, opinions, and views of the world in okay. all walks of life. So we talk so, about everything. So anything you come with, we talk. About. We talk about. It. Okay, good. Good talk. <laughs> definitely more oh, than yeah. welcome anytime, good, my good brother. Talk. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is ITB or is anything five. that you guys come with. That's right. We talking about it. That That's why right. we got the chats. That's why we got the chats and all of that. Right. 
Y'all can call in. Oh, you, you know, can call, call in. in. You, you could be on air, air with us yeah. and everything. Or if you want to be invited, just like we invited Sister Kim, she came and was able to come on um, live with us with her camera and everything. So, man, we could definitely make it happen. This is ITB Next Level Podcast. That's yep. what we own, man. ITB Next Level. In the building, baby. In the building. Not just inside the building, but building relationships. That she go. That's what we do. So, with that being said, it's your boy, the real we beat up. up. And, and right next to me is the Wooster. Thank everybody for coming through tonight. Thank our brother Wilkes. Thanks, brother Wilkes. Thank our uh, half of uh, thank our engineer, <laughs> engineer. brother Lade. Brother Lade back Lotto there. Lotto in the house. We need to thank Sister Kim for coming on to join us. We love y'all. Peace. Peace. Yes, sir. Uh-huh.